Hey guys, Terry with Computer Pro again. Um, I came across a different, unique variation of solving the cube, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll give credit to the place where I found it in my link. Um, but I kind of used it in conjunction with mine. It's, it's some of the moves you can do are similar, but it's it is different. It's very unique. Instead of doing it layer by layer, you know, usually we do the first layer then the top, then the second layer to give you this top two, then we solve this last layer. Um, with this one, you're basically solving all the corners, like all the corners first. It's really, really weird, um, <clears throat> really different and cool though. And you can use a lot of the same moves. Um, you know, I'll, I'll try to, I, I, I just found it yesterday, so I'm not very good at it, but I'll do my best to, to show you, okay? So if we solve for white, Remember before we would do the cross and then the corners? All we're doing is the corners now, okay? <clears throat> so, uh, the same thing holds true. You, you do the same moves to get the, get the corners up, which can be found in different videos, so I'm not going to waste your time going over that. Um, <clears throat> one more, boom. Okay, so I got the corners in the right place, meaning that they're flipped up, but also, you know, red, blue, orange and green are in the proper spot. Once you get the corners in the right spot, <clears throat> almost treat the face as if it's solved, flip it over, and start solving the opposite side corners. Okay? So how you do that is, remember, it, you, you treat this like the last layer, okay? So in the last layer, when these two are, are solved, we're going to we have those two moves that move corners, and then we have that, that one that flips corners. Remember, the, the flip corner one is, you know, down, flick, up, flick, down, flick, flick, up, right? We're going to do those same, and, you know, those same movements, <clears throat> and we're going to treat it as if it's solved. But really, all we did is get the, the, the cross. I think he calls it the X's and O's method, okay? So what I want to do first is make sure that they're in the right place. So green and red goes here. Red and blue, that's wrong, that's right, and that's wrong, okay. Oh, this is the, where the two opposites are, <clears throat> are right. That's kind of a bad example. But what I'm going to do is, um, just like moving the corners around before, I, I, I put them on the bottom. I do the one move where it's, you know, down flick, flick, up, and rotate the front, Bring it back and bring it back. And those you can reference from the other videos. I'm not going to. Um, and let me do it again now. See what we, we wound up with. We got red, blue, and red. Okay, so these two need to be flipped. So I'm going to put them in front again. Down. And do the same movement. <clears throat> there. So they should all be in the right place now. Now I have to flip them, and I'm going to do the same Move. I'm going to put them on the right-hand side, and I got none. <clears throat> I'm looking for one in the corner. There we go. I put it in the corner. Even though the rest of the cube is not solved, I'm treating it as, as if it is, okay? So one in the corner. Because this is up, this will, this will solve these corners here. There. So now um, what you'll find when you solve the top and the bottom, it's really unique. When I say solve, I mean when you when when you get the X or the four corners on the top, and then you get it on the bottom, you've also got it on every single side. So you've got to have this checkerboard thing going on. Okay. <clears throat> Once you do that, believe it or not, all these other moves, as as long as you're doing these basic movements to put as if you're solving one layer you're not going to mess up anything else because you're always doing it in like twos, okay? So now we're going to get the edge pieces in in the white. And how we do that is, um, let's see, orange, white. So just like you're solving just one side, you're going to basically put it, you know, like bring it down, take your piece, move it over, right? And then line it back up just like a, solving one one layer basically okay red goes here so I'm gonna move it over right I'm gonna drop it to the middle line it up and bring it back okay 
and this is the Bunique all green is on the is on the bottom. So, you know, the same. Bring it up, bring it back. Now here's the weird thing. You solve it all except one cube. You have to use this cube. That's your floater. That will that gets flipped upside down. That's what lets you solve the top. Because what you're going to do is make a sandwich. You're going to have this complete um, side solved and or layer solved and then this complete layer solved and then you wind up with this middle that you have to solve and it's really kind of quick I did some timing things like I said I just learned it yesterday so I'm, I'm not that fast but I'm about you know 15 seconds faster with mine believe it or not but I can if I have a good run I can do this one fairly quick if I'm going fast at it but um, so anyways this is the floater here now I'm gonna put it on the bottom and solve the top and all you do with the floater is you, you line it up to where you want to place the cube, and I'll explain that, like, here. Um, green and yellow goes here. So I would put this here so I could drop it and then move this over here, right? So where it's going to go is here, so I put my space cube under it. It's under where it's going to go. Now when I do the move and I line it up and I bring it back, I still have the one space because what that does is when you think about it, it's it's the opposite end, right? This is a cube that's going to be moved. So you always want that to be the blank cube, okay? So here's red. So we'll move that over. Now I know this is going to go here after I move this down, right? So what I want to do is take my, just peek in the bottom, move that underneath where it's going, and then do the move, okay? And I've got one more, and where is it? Oh, it's on the bottom here. Ooh. Okay, so we'll do, we'll bump it out <clears throat> there. So yellow and orange goes here. And we're going to make sure it's on the bottom, which it is. And I had one in the wrong place, guys, sorry. So now I have to go at it here. I don't want to confuse you guys there. So blue is going to go here, right? Because I'm going to drop the side. I'm going to move this over, and it's going to line up. So I make sure that my cube is under it, right? Drop the side, bring it back. Now I've got the side, but I have my one messed up cube. Now what you do for that is you, if you're looking at it, and this is going to tell because it's either going to be it's either going to be flipped with white on top or white or not white on top, but either it's going to be, you know, you don't want the white on facing you. You want the white facing the outer edge. So that's how I know it's this one. If it if it was facing this side, I would have to do it this way, but it's facing this side. So in other words, if it winds up like this, you want to make the white on the outer edge. So it's not going to be this cube or it's not going to be on the right, it's going to be on the left, because I want the white facing the outer edge. And then what I do from here is, he does it a little bit different. What I do is I put the cube up so the white's facing me, and then I flick it towards the empty space. And the goal is to line up white, so I want to remember that. So what I do is, is it's, it's basically a matter of flicking the top and then, br and then bringing the middle up and back down. And it's kind of an even thing and what I mean by that is it's it's flick the top bring the middle up flick the top back bring the middle back flick the top back line up the white and put it back and that will get this side and not mess up this side okay so now I've got this sandwich thing going on see um, but as you can see the cube is pretty close to being solved okay now for the middle if you have one piece that's correct you want to, and, and this is where the guy where I got it from, he has all these answers for these types of things, and, and I'm just kind of experimenting, but um, I think you put it in, in the back corner, so it would be like this, right? And then the one pattern you do, and these are so simple, it's middle up, flick, flick on top, middle back, flick, flick again, okay? So what that did is that left me... Pretty much the same so we'll try it again we'll put the the solved cube in the back and we'll go middle up flick flick middle back flick flick and 
Oh, the cube magically solved. Okay. Um, there's another case where you wind up a lot with... Um, like an H pattern. And remember on our other ones, when we did the H pattern, we would do the, you know, those. His method of solving this is is less less moves. It's very easy. It's If you get the H pattern, you, you put the H on top, okay? And you take the middle row, and when I say up, I'm bringing the middle up. When I say down, I'm bringing the middle down, okay? And the flicks are just gonna be top. It's just It's just middle up, or middle down and flick and flick flick is two okay so all you're doing is middle up and you're flicking with this finger that's it just a combination of that and it and it's a very even number easy to remember so you're gonna you're gonna go you're gonna go up flick up flick up flick flick then the opposite down flick down flick down flick flick and it solves so Pretty unique method. It's it's like getting, reminds me a lot of, you know, the checkerboard. That's what you're doing. You're getting the corners and solving the checkerboard first and then doing the rest of it. So very strange. Um, so I'll post more videos as I get better at it. Like I said, I, I just found out about that yesterday and started playing with it. And it's it's a pretty cool combination, you know. So, okay.